Let us take a look at the book of Genesis and engrave the will of God through the process of physical creation and spiritual creation. Let's see Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God created the heavens and the earth and placed various kinds of creatures there. God created hundreds of different kinds of beautiful fish, various kinds of crustaceans, and large animals such as whales, and allowed them to swim in the sea. He also created animals, reptiles, and many others that move along the ground. There are so many animals that are very amazing, even to us. God created four-legged animals, and also two-legged animals such as the ostrich, God created fearsome animals such as alligators, huge animals such as elephants, and fragile vegetarian animals such as rabbits. What about in the sky? We can see a flock of geese roaming around in the sky in autumn. They remind us of our lost heavenly home. God also created these birds in the sky. God created all kinds of trees that grow on the ground, and seaweeds that grow in the sea. God filled the heavens, the earth, and the sea with tens of thousands of creatures that He created. What we can see with our naked eyes is this much. God even created the tiniest microorganisms and particles that we cannot see with our naked eyes. Let us find out what He did next in verse 29. Then God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. They will be yours for food. And to all the beasts of the earth and all the birds of the air and all the creatures that move on the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw all that he had made and it was, how was it? Very good. There is no better expression than this. Nothing can be modified more than this. To say it is good is the best expression. It was very good. And there was evening and there was morning the sixth day. After God completed the physical creation work, He said, it was very good. Through this physical creation, what does God want to let us know? God said that He is still in the process of the spiritual creation. Let us take a look at the spiritual creation work through this creation work that serves as a copy and in which God said it was very good. Let us take a look at John chapter 5, verse 17. Jesus said to them, My Father is always at His work to this very day. Who does Father here refer to? It refers to God Jehovah. Has God Jehovah finished the work of creation of the heavens and the earth or not? According to the book of Genesis, it was finished. However, Jesus said, My Father is always at His work to this very day. He is at His work to this very day, and I too am working. He came to this earth, preached the gospel, converted our hearts to repentance, and led our hearts to the eternal kingdom of heaven. He is still in the process of the spiritual creation work. We are now in this long path of salvation. We must never forget that we are walking this path. Let us turn to Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, it is written that God created the physical heavens and the physical earth. Then now, as they all passed away, what kind of heaven and earth is created? What kind of place is this place? It is the kingdom of heaven where we will live. There will be no more death, no pain, no anguish, no sorrow, no worries, but joyfulness and happiness. It is not easy for us to walk this path. In places, Satan sets many snares and many kinds of temptations. Thus, in order to fully overcome and walk this path of faith, we must be created perfectly as a creation of which God says, it is very good. 
When God sees you and says, they looked very bad after I created them, is it good to hear? What should we look like in the perspective of God? It was very good. I am glad I created you. You are truly my son and my daughter. In Christ, we should be the creation of which God says it was very good.